everyone, Crafty Nessie back. Hello, I'm back with another video. Um, this time it's my little characters from a children's book that I'm actually writing. And these, um, this is the little family that this whole series is kind of based around. And I kind of want to talk about the character design of the characters and the importance of representation. Um, I have a associate's degree in child development, so I learned a lot about like the importance of diversity, which is one of the number one things that they often talked about in my classes. Diversity and the importance of inclusion kind of thing. And I honestly, I grew up with a black dad and a white mom and it was always funny whenever I went in to work and some of the kids would ask me, um, oh, who's your mommy? And I'm like, oh, my mommy's the, um, what is the lady in the office? My mom worked at the same preschool as I did for a little bit. And they'd look at me like, what? That doesn't make sense. And they'd look from her to me to me to her. And I look like, um, I have darker skin and my mom has white as white can get. And... <laughs> Well, not really, but we get the picture. And they'll look at me like, uh, how does they can't put one plus one together? So I wanted to kind of talk about like the importance of like kind of like representation in like children's books and things like that. Like, yeah, there's different races, like, and the importance of inclusion of different disabilities and things like that. But also the importance of sharing like mixed families. I wanted to include that in my little children's series like yeah there's also um there's families with moms dads mom and dad and different characters and like an asian dad and a white mom or a black mom and a asian dad whatever kind of mixture you want to put in there and i kind of wanted to share that importance in my story and honestly this is what i grew up with i had three younger siblings of course but it's black mom, I'm mean, black dad, black white mom. Well, I can't speak English right now. I'm sorry, but it's just the importance of representation, and it, this is something that's kind of important to me, and especially someone who got the best of both worlds, um, well, best and worst, but whatever. Um, but it's I just found it was really cute, and I really found that to be important when I was thinking about the character designs for these, like especially for children's books or any kind of story, what kind of message are you trying to portray in your story? What are the important details that you want within your story? Do you want a child, for instance, for this, do you want a child to feel like, oh, hey, there's more families that are like mine out there? Or do you want, like, in a more maybe adult setting, do you want your audience to feel like, Oh, they're nothing like me or do you want them to feel like hey I want to really I can relate to this story and that's something I always want that's really important to me whenever I'm writing stories I want care my readers to feel relatable to my characters I want them to be as realistic as possible that's something I've done with a lot of my other stories I've always tried to make them relatable <clears throat> sorry so that's my little two cents making relatable characters and here's our little family going on a little stroll, having fun, older brother, little sister. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like and, and subscribe. Um, thank you so much for watching. God bless. Bye.